So you might be in a situation where for some reason your Android hotspot just keeps randomly disconnecting. Now this can happen for a lot of random reasons, so it's never just really one reason why this stuff happens. But the very first thing I would recommend doing here is just going through and just making sure that you're not randomly turning off your Wi-Fi or turning on your Wi-Fi when your device is connected. There's lots of reasons why your hotspot can be disconnected. So just make sure you're not messing with your internet connection settings, you're not connecting to Wi-Fi's, or especially you're not turning off your hotspot while you're in your hotspot mode. If you are, that's probably going to be the main reason you're doing that. Now, if you're also connecting your specific device to your device, you know, let's say a laptop or something, and you're doing a hotspot via the way it's connected via USB-C, that can also cause some issues too. So if you want to do a wired method, you can try doing that way. But that's another option that you may want to look into as well. Now, on top of that, under things like, you know, network and internet, you also want to make sure that with hotspot and tethering, you also have this on and you're not messing with these settings as well. Also, with USB tethering, like I mentioned before, you want to make sure this is toggled on and you're not messing around with any of these specific settings. You probably just want to make sure Bluetooth tethering, tethering is on there too. So that those are pretty much the main high level things that people can mess up. Now, kind of lower level things, if you're in an area that doesn't have good cell signal, your PC is probably not going to be able to detect your specific hotspot. So we can randomly disconnect your hotspot from your PC or whatever other device you're using because the, the because the hotspot is not that good, because the signal is not that good. So that's another thing that can happen. Also, if you have the ability to doing so, restarting your Android phone can probably end up fixing the problem too. So just hold down the buttons of restarting your phone. Go ahead and restart it, and that may end up fixing the problem too. Again, not a guarantee, but something else you can do. And if you have the option to, I would probably recommend just seeing if you can update your specific Android phone. So what I would recommend doing here is just going inside of your system settings, just like this, click on system update, and pretty much just go through and basically update your Android phone if you have the capability of doing so. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button now me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.